this website has been reported as unsafe. Okay, so I've tried to go to one of those URLs and it's brought up this warning message. In fact, if that's what it looks like in Internet Explorer, uh, this is the version for Firefox. So you can see it's, it's really not a nice screen. Uh, it gives information on why this page was blocked and basically gives the option to get me out of here. The option to ignore this warning and continue to the page is there, but it's basically tiny. Um, and the same is true on Internet Explorer. Basically, it's going to take you back to your home page. So really, if this happens, if your site gets hacked in this way and used for a fishing trip or something like this, then basically you're going to get no traffic from here on in until you get it re-included, if you can get it re-included in Google and Bing and Yahoo. So you really, really don't want this to happen, okay? So that's a quick look at what can happen when your site is hacked. Now let's look at another example. This is where hackers are trying to force their way in to a site using a brute force attack. Basically, they're throwing lots of username and password variations at the logins page in the hope of hitting the right combination. So let's take a quick look at a series of warning emails that dropped into my inbox to let me know that this blog was under a brute force attack. I'm going to pop across to my email box. Uh, I'm just using Outlook here. And here are some of the emails that have come in. Now the important bit here to look at is down here at the bottom. You can see that what they're trying to do is use the admin username root and a password gelzo. If we go up to another one, there'll be a different uh, password. Uh, it's the same username root they're trying, but a different password. And if we scroll up through, you can see the lots of these coming in uh, all on the same day, all within minutes of each other, all within the same minute here, 1038. You can see how fast these attacks are occurring. And if I scroll down again, you'll see this time it's still username root, but this time a different password again. So if I scroll up, let's go a bit further up. So you can see hundreds of these things are basically coming through and it's still going for the admin username root but another password this time let's scroll up again and let's have a look at this time it's still uh, no it's a different username it's webmaster and now it's going after the password administrator one two three four five six this is an ex classic example of a brute force attack we're basically using they're using automated software to try and hack the site by guessing basically the username for the admin and the password and they have as much time as they want to do this effectively because they have a massive list of different usernames and passwords and they'll just run through them using automated software until they happen across the correct one. As soon as they got that they're into your site, you've lost it, you've lost control and the damage is done. Okay. So that's just a couple of quick examples, but to check things for yourself, you can go to a site like Hacker Target, and under the online scanners, choose WordPress Scanner, and you'll come up with this page where you can pop in your own domain URL to get an idea of how secure your site is and what information your site is broadcasting that can be used by a hacker to attack you. This example is a basic WordPress setup, and you can see hackers have a bunch of ways in already. They can see which version of WordPress it is, they can see which theme the site is using, as well as the admin username for their brute force attack, and they can also get access to the uploads and plugins folder so they can see what's installed and find potential vulnerabilities to exploit on your site. Why would you let hackers have all this information for free? Here's another example and this site has been locked down using Blog Defender and as you can see we've hidden a whole bunch of that information from them. They can't see the WordPress version, they can't see the theme we're using, they can't see the usernames and they can't see the uploads or plugins folder. Now that's a big improvement. Not only this, but Blog Defender will also show you how to protect your site from spammers, hackers, fake bots, botnets, data miners and other scumbags who want to ruin your business. And that's exactly what Blog Defender shows you in simple to follow step by step videos, all using free plugins and bespoke tools to make sure your WordPress site is secure. Grab Blog Defender today and learn how to lock down your site before it's too late.